Hi people. Came a new person, say name. Hey. Another day, another vlog, and it feels good to be, you know, vlogging again, man. I've missed it. Um, but yeah, I just came straight from the barbers, fresh cut. And before anybody asks, this is how it looks like picked out, but I normally make it wavy. Uh, but yeah, today, you know, I'm back vlogging, and I've got bought something new, some more upgrades for my camera. This is like a steady kind of cam, got it on eBay for like £15. And basically, it's going to help me like with the footage when I do like more better videos. So I won't use it in vlogs, but for like more production type videos I'm going to do in the future, it eliminates shaking like that. It will make it more smooth. So that should be cool. But also, I'm, asking, I'm coming here now um, earlier on to ask you guys a favour anyway. But if any of you guys have been here from when I was at like, 500 subs, I more or less mentioned to you guys ages ago that I want to start a get series for the girls called Girls lift 2 it originally was gonna be chick lift 2 but i'm not sure if make someone might get offended so it's gonna be girls lift 2 series and i wanted to get a girl to get it to more or less run the series so i wouldn't have to like trouble her or anything apart from film it and i got a girl to do it and um she's a personal trainer she knows her stuff but i just want to tell you guys ahead of time because i know you guys like to make made jokes and bust jokes whatever please this time do not be disrespectful or anything like that not that i I haven't wanted to be disrespectful before, but this time, please don't. Purely because um, you don't want to scare her off. I would like to have this, um, this girl come, do the videos, and have the lady followers that we do have, is about 200 of you, have someone that you can identify with, the same way how the guys identify with me. Some of you, you, if you had a girl that you could follow all the time, track her progress, similar weight, or has a physique you'd like to attain, maybe you'd you maybe motivate you a bit more. So please, people, when, when the video comes out, please, nothing but nice comments, and welcome to the channel, and if you like the video tell us a great comment saying it's a great video and just tell her welcome to PMG and hopefully we'll progress if it goes over well and she likes doing it then who knows we'll do it as a constant kind of thing every like every so often I'll make sure that we add more to the series so we girls live too but anyway I'll see you when I hit the gym actually it's pretty loud still anyway hi people came a new person say name say hey <laughs> headlights we're gonna do shoulder day today we're gonna do 50 50 like some of what I do some of my neighbors. does Alright guys, back with another voiceover for the video and as I said, basically this workout was shoulder day and for Nae's first video we decided instead of her doing her own video, just get used to the camera that she just take, just more or less be, um, be in this vlog and just kind of see how, the, how I do the filming and what kind of things to expect when I'm filming so basically what we're doing is working shoulders and we did, as I said, we did 50-50 like half of what I chose to do and half of what Nae did as to the personal trainer, she doesn't know her stuff so I let her lead on some of the workouts at the beginning, obviously, we started on rear delts and medial delt flies. Obviously, you guys that watch my channel and obviously see the videos I do on shoulder day, this is kind of my little staple as a warm up on shoulder day. I did um, three sets on the rear delt, um, the face pull, sorry, and um, and four sets on the medial delt raises. I think for now, and I'll probably do three uh, sets of each of those. To be honest, those are just like a little warm up, just to kind of haunt the shoulders. And um, as you can see, putting putting air for your faces here, but you'll see at the end of the video she starts kicking my ass. So yeah, um, I think this is the last bit. This will speed up when she gets to her bit. Okay, now here she decided to do um, set out a superset. And if you guys watch the channel, I don't often do supersets really unless I'm short on gym time. But throughout her, most of her things that she told me to do were basically all supersets. So basically, we did overhead dumbbell press. And then after that, she moved on to doing like um, working like the medial delts and lifting up a bar. As you'll see, in a, in, lifting up a what's it, weight in a second, as you'll see a plate, and just kind of doing um, the curved as if you're driving that kind of motion. You guys have seen me do that here and there, but I never really do a superset, and it definitely did exhaust my body out a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, due to the superset, I moved down the weight as you see on overhead press. I think I'm doing 18 kg, whereas normally I do around 26 and, and higher. Uh, which I'm glad I stuck to the 18 because this was actually going to be a warm up weight but then after <laughs> I started moving the plate my body got really tired so I'll be back in a second I'll let you just kind of hear some of the raw footage and I'll be back in about 30-40 seconds <laughs> Peace! 
Okay, after that, uh, basically we did about three sets of those, of the super set, and after that I ended up like, fully exhausting my shoulders. Uh, but basically I wanted to do work on traps, and Naya went on work to find the corner on, so I think more of a medial delts. And it just shows, obviously, when you're with a training partner, no matter who it is, you haven't always got to do exactly the same thing the whole workout. If you personally want to do something different, or they want to do something different, you don't just do what they want to do because you're there. You can easily just like decide to just do what you're going to do, and come back and meet up and train. Here she moved on to some more rope work, so basically it's like four different kind of little bits that we did inside the superset. So you start off on the ropes, you do as fast as you can doing the alternate, then you do um, for 20 seconds, then you do like another 15 or 10 seconds doing like the rope slam down or what that routine's called. And you get the ball, throw it down, lift it as high as you can, throw it to the ground, lift it up, do as many as you can in 20 seconds around that total time, and then go back to the ropes. And this is fully exhausting me. This is one of the things we did near the end because obviously you just kind of burn off the shoulders as much as you can. Are you okay down there? Okay, now as you can see on screen here, I was deaf as hell. Like, every time she said it was saying heels on the floor, I thought she was saying as in heels on the floor, so jump higher. So, yeah, that was poorly done on the ropes bit. I started off good on the ropes and I just kind of went downhill because my body was just fully exhausted. Because as an ego, as a man as well, I purposely tried to, and everything we did <laughs> up until this point, I tried to do almost double what she did because I was like, oh, my man, obviously I can do at least double what she's doing. And eventually it just took its toll on my body. I was dying. But there you go, Nair's uh, ending off on this as well. Killing it with it, and yeah, man. This is the first video you're gonna see from there. If you like the video and you like having her on the channel, feel free to comment below, obviously, and show some love. And then, obviously, if you guys are feeling it, then obviously, would we'll obviously plan to do more. Um, so that's basically it. You're gonna see me collapse on the floor in a second. There you go, and that's the bit that's the rest of this day, really. And I'll see you guys later on in the video for the next gym session and a voiceover. Right, people, we just trained shoulders, and she kicked my ass, as you saw many times, <laughs> like all that. Jumping up and down, shit. You guys know in my videos, I rarely ever do that, but it's always good to train with different people. So if you like having there in the video, let me know. Forehead. <laughs> I've got the forehead here. Fuck you. See this? This here? That is the mega forehead. You, know, you got heads covering. Might just might like perm this shit. Yeah, pull it down. But yeah, man. Can you your Instagram or do you want to keep that private? Yeah, you can. I'm gonna get run over. <laughs> Why is your Instagram and then I'll obviously. Um, um, it is. I'll put the link down below anyway, in case, you, in case you forgot or it's wrong. Maybe got underscore in there somewhere, but I'm gonna say Naya Fitness. Uh, if you want to see more of Naya, hit up on Instagram and feel free to comment below. So yeah, we're gonna peace out now in a bit. Bye. It's that simple. Oh, I finally reached in. I feel so sore. Like shout outs to Naya, man. I ain't gonna lie. Like you would never. You've seen me train with girls on the channel, yeah, like Queen and all them, but no other female has maybe flipping the workout in the gym like. Like, make, tie me out. Like, I was sweating like a bitch at one point. And she made me sweat right from my deodorant. So, shout out to you, Nair, when you're watching this. I was dying. I thought I was frowning as hell. Uh, so, oh yeah, so I'm gonna eat some. I made these stir fry. You guys know I love my stir fry. So, I had about two days worth left at least. So, I'm gonna have one of those now, along with a protein shake. Um, if you guys have seen the, uh, the review I did on the um, vanilla ice cream, the multiple proteins. It kind of half ignore what I said. The um, cookies and cookies and cream one that I've got, that mix of peanut butter is the bomb. Like all of them I mix with peanut butter now, but the cookies one with peanut butter tastes so good. So does the vanilla ice cream. Um, but so yeah, my favourite now is actually the cookie and cream, whatever it was. The cookies one and peanut butter mixed together, then this one, then the cherry bake one. But yeah, man, I'm gonna go shower first thing though. Come, I'm dying to sweat, man. I feel smelly and sweaty, so that's the first thing I do. 
And so those of you that watched the video, watched the video so far, hopefully you liked it. If you did, feel free to follow on Instagram, follow at Naya Fitness it is. I'll put the link below. If it's not there, why don't you use comment and tell me I forgot. Um, so yeah, man, it was nice training with someone new. It's always good to do something else. You're going to see more stuff from Emporium. You're going to see me with Mike as well, because Mike goes there. So probably on Saturdays and Sundays, I'll be hitting the gym with Mike on there. I've still got pure gym for a little bit longer as well, so I'll be doing in and out. But yeah, man, gains in progress, man. We're all making gains. So it's been great. But yeah, man, leave a comment below and share the video, guys. I really want to reach to 5,000 subscribers by January 1st. So hopefully we can make that happen. Hey, man, you know Sometimes I laugh with God about how you can't stop me. I'm the darkest angel probably, but he still got me. Yeah, I'm getting mine, but still I better lie. The shit I set aside to make sure that my people get in by. Run through some guitar royals in my cup, is all oil. You know it's real, yeah. People just came in, did a little bit of shopping. Got myself some deodorant, some cheese, and some next things. But basically, today's my day off work. I was gonna spend some of the day relaxing, but looking, coming here, this shit that I'm hearing, you probably can hear it already. A whole lot of construction work. Wait, can you see me better now? Yeah. A whole lot of construction work, and that's gonna piss me off. So, I'm gonna go to the gym. So, I'm gonna literally eat my breakfast now and go to the gym. Uh, probably be, I think. I feel like doing back. I think it's supposed to be chest, but I feel like doing back today. So I'm going to do back and biceps. As I said, we're about to go to the gym. Uh, take a guess. My tongue's blue as hell, which means I took the my pre pre workout, took one scoop of that. So, going to get that in now. So, about to go to the gym. Emporium, not pure. Burn pure gym. Just made a hashtag. And uh, so, yeah, I'm about to get it in now. See you in a bit. Miserable day today. Rat nigga got my chain snatched. And he ain't even get the chain back. Get on the news with the police. Okay. They ain't talking on Twitter, I ain't playing that. Fuck really me. You got <laughs> uh, you in case some of you are wondering, I do have my brace back in. I only put it in like when the gap starts coming back. So it's like, I ain't put it in since like March. And the gap's coming back in all my videos, I was noticing it. So I've put it back in, so yeah. In case you happen to give a fuck. Probably don't, but yeah. Another gym day right now. Uh, started off with two sets of uh, wideish grip pull-ups. Uh, did like six to eight reps. I think on average I did 26. Just kind of warm up the back. I don't want to do like start doing four sets, four sets like I used to. It's meant to just be like a nice warm up for the back. Uh, for this back day, I basically feel most of the workouts, exercises, sorry, that you haven't seen me do at Pure Gym because obviously they don't really have the machines. But obviously I had to put in my um, my um, lateral diverging lateral pull down because you guys know I love this machine and it's even better at this gym. So basically, start off. Um, I basically pyramided up in the um, for this exercise. Uh, started off with one plate either side, so 20 either side. Then after that, I moved on, like added on like a 10. And then after, I ended up basically working up to doing, I think I showed you guys the other day when I trained with Mike and Rizzy, like doing the 45 um, kg either side, so 90. Uh, so basically, just doing, aiming for like at least eight reps on each one. Um, just more or less so I can, to be honest, I just really wanted to move the weight. I, was really, I really wanted to do back day, as I said at the beginning. And I just tried to give you my all basically. So you can see me on screen putting in that work. Rocking my little stringer. I had to wear the stringer on that day obviously to make up for last time so I didn't have to like back off the tee or anything. Just so I can see the muscles and everything and um, kind of see what's improving when I'm actually watching back this footage because believe it or not I do film this footage for me as well as you guys so I can kind of track what muscles are looking bigger and not whatever. After that I went on to doing some T-bar rows. Not for the hose, cause I did it for myself. Um, ain't gonna lie, the filming today, I had to try and make sure to like do it as <laughs> secretive as possible. I was like some double O agent when it came to filming. I tried to make sure nobody realised there was a camera at any point. So I basically, and most, and some of the things I'd only filmed one set, but a lot of them I filmed some of the repeated sets purely because one, I wanted to show you guys kind of like quite a bit of footage of in this new gym of all the different back stuff I'm doing. Um, yeah, and this was I think on the machine it was called a low row. And like a n very nice, like low, um, well, a low row, the name kind of says it. And I pretty much up on this one as well. Started with like the one plate, moved up to like around 45 each side as well. And um, really, I, I truly felt a massive pump after this back leg. The, ne the next day I woke up, my back was just swollen. I was walking like I was Arnold Schwarzenegger because I just felt that pumped. Um, so that's always good when you leave the gym or wake up the next day and you have that nice immense pump, it's always a good thing. Like right now as I'm doing this voiceover, um, literally as soon as I press um, render for this video, I'm going to run over to Emporium Gym and I'm going to do shoulder day. 
Um, and before I forget, this video I filmed so much footage and even it came out to 50 minutes. So obviously I'm not going to open up one 50 minute video. So I'll split them into two parts. So whether I choose to use the same name, like New Gains, New Gym, New Gains, Part 1 and Part 2, or I make up two different names for each of them, is I'm not sure I'll find out. Well, you'll find out when it's up. But basically I wanted to make sure I've kept all the footage. I didn't want to like just, I tried to trim it as much as I could. Initially it came out to an hour and, no it came out to 55 minutes. I cut it down to like 40 minutes. So I'm going to split it into two different videos for you guys. So this one covers um, shoulders and back. And I think the next one covers legs and chest. Or chest and legs, maybe chest first. And here I got this exercise from my boy Mike when I trained him the other day. I know he's going to hit me up saying, oh you stole my exercise. Didn't bother to say it was me. Basically, I want, it's just obviously so you can just kind of do it isolation one side at a time. Basically, just, you know, so you don't have any imbalances and try and work on your balance, sorry. And I think my left side especially has like, I think my left leg is smaller, my left arm smaller, my left, basically my left everything is slightly smaller than the right. So I'm going to start adding a lot more isolation stuff to try and work on it. And especially in point, there's, there's loads, even for legs, there's loads of isolation stuff that you can do. So it's great. And also this back day also did include arms. So I, I added in uh, two of the arm exercises I did. Um, I love doing the arm with the cables because the cables add so much more tension so you feel it even more in your arms. Usually I prefer doing the cables my very last set because it literally it fully exhausts my arms but it just so happened that the area was free, there wasn't anyone there so I thought while I can film here without having to worry about anyone in the shot I'll do it. So I did four sets of um, the cable for um, bicep curl and I loved it. And then I went on to um, the one by one alternate arm isolated bicep curl. Uh, I've moved up initially if you guys are watching the channel for like about two months now I think I was doing like 12 kg like two months back and now I can lift 18. On the screen I'm actually doing 16 though because obviously the cable bicep curl really really did in my arms but I can do 14, I mean I can do 18 kg and four sets of six so I'm happy with that. As soon as that moves up to four sets of eight then I'll move up the weight again so that's kind of the way I kind of do it and my arm is definitely growing which I'm highly 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 happy with you guys if you follow me on Instagram you know that but anyway I'll see you guys and I'll leave to the rest of the video hi guys camera's about to cut out I hope you like the photo so far I'm dying man I do love it here man this is boring so good but yeah man in case the camera dies like comment share so far and I hope you like the rest of the video my camera cut out but basically I went LD because you guys keep telling me to go Aldi. And because I was out during the day, I thought, you know, I'll, I'll reach there, I haven't got to go to Tesco. Uh, so yeah, I just bought a few little things. Yeah, went, went bad on price. Uh, but yeah, today's morning and my back feels in, in shares. I did love that back day. Uh, I filmed probably about half the stuff, purely because I wanted to film mainly the stuff you haven't seen me do before the machines haven't seen me do. Some of the things you've always seen me do, I, I didn't film. But yeah, today is Saturday, so I think I'll be doing my nan shopping. And obviously I'm going to gym as well. Fully tripping, look at that. This is my kitchen right now. So hopefully by the time at the end of the day comes here, yeah, I would, at least I'm filming on purpose, purely so this will make me clean it. Uh, but right now I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have three whole eggs, I got my Aldi ham, and I got, I got some sausages too, man. Today's, uh, this is like just normal sausage as well, so it's not the best of meals for the full thing. But it's kind of like a cheap meal I wanna have, I wanna have some normal sausages. And I think on my next order, I'm going to buy some more liquid egg whites so I can mix it in with my whole eggs. And that's the end result, guys. In no way I'm advocating you guys to have this, but this is my meal. In this bulking period of my life, I'm going to enjoy it a bit. So i got four sausages, cups, got some ham, and got some whole eggs. Chain the plan, guys. My nan does not need shopping, so I'm just going to go straight to the gym. And it's chest day today. Uh, one thing I will say about uh, bench pressing and everything like that, I think it's going to be like, it's going to be harder to film. Purely because, um, the gym, obviously, the Emporium gym, it's, there's no really fit to put the camera. So, um, when I'm like filming bench and all that stuff, it's, there's a better angle, there you go. When I'm filming bench and stuff, it's going to be a bit more difficult to like have the camera somewhere without like being too obvious. Like I want to make sure, as soon as I'm in the new gym, make sure everything I do is very subtle. I don't want to be like the one that's the new person that's come and just make, ruining dynamics, people like feel like they're on edge. I'm doing the camera stuff so I'm trying to make it subtle so either it'll be weird angles at first for like benching dumbbells and like putting the camera on the floor or whatever but it's just what you gotta do it's actually quite a nice day for once oh yeah the reason I put the camera on was just to say in case any of you actually happen to care 
if any of you wanted to like meet up with me and go to Emporia, like bump between like randomly without having to like book a like subscribe session, like plan it. Um, I'll probably be at the gym most days during the week. It would be like between 9:30, like after 9:30. So if you ever want to, if you go to Emporia Gym and want to link up, or just like have a last, like oh no, meet me in person. I don't know if you happen to give a shit, but if you do, I'll be there around 9:30 onwards usually during the week. And on the weekend, it'll probably be around one, two o'clock. Like, like, uh, nice watch, run it. Hands in the air.